uh, once again good morning to all uh, today uh, first we are going to revise uh, with the previous topic because we have uh, uh, left something uh, in the previous presentation so once again i would like to uh, revise uh, with some informations uh, revisions for the previous presentation and then uh, today we are going to discuss on a topic uh, the topic uh, for today's class is uh, uh, environment division and data division so though uh, these two divisions are uh, 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 while comparing to data division uh, data division is a very very important thing while comparing with environment division uh, we won't give much importance to environment division but here we are going to, we have to know uh, what are the various uh, sections or paragraphs that we have in environment division so he, here today we are going to discuss on some two topics the first one which is about environment division and second one which is about uh, data division so these are the two topics that we are going to see in detail uh, for today's presentation so before entering into uh, today's presentation i would like to uh, discuss something uh, related to the uh, previous class uh, so here in previous class we discussed about picture class okay so picture class is nothing but uh, which, which used to give them information or uh, which used to show the attributes of elements uh, attributes of elementary data item so whatever the elementary data item that you're going to use to your program to all those elementary data item uh, we have some attributes those attributes uh, will be shown while declaring or uh, while uh, defining your uh, elementary data item in under your data division so basically uh, you have data division so under data division you will have working storage section so under working storage section only we are going to use this picture class so this picture class which consists of some general format as picture is uh, data name or data item name and then you will have those code characters so this is going to be the general format so you have uh, uh, few things over here the first you will have level number uh, we will discuss about this level numbers um, in the upcoming classes uh, so first you will have level number and then you will have this picture the word picture rpic and then is 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 and then you will have data item name and then you will have the code character so this is going to be the overall structure of how we have to use the picture class uh, so picture class which, which used to give them a complete picture of a elementary data item so using the picture class we could identify whether that particular data item is an uh, numeric data item or alphabetic data item or whether it's an alphanumeric data item so what type of data item it is suppose if it is going to be a numeric data item whether it's an integer value or float value or suppose if it's going to be a numeric data item whether it's a positive value or negative value so that uh, uh, so just like that we could compare or we could check using that particular code character so by defining the exact or proper code character we could differentiate whether it's a positive value or a negative value whether it's a whole number or whether it's a number with some decimal places whether it's an alphabet or whether an alphanumeric so you must know the difference between alphabet and alphanumeric alphabet in the sense it used to contain only alphabets alone that's about alphabet alphabetic and then alphanumeric in the sense it used to have both alphabets and numbers so that's about alphanumeric uh, so these are some classes that we have actually numeric classes and then uh, alphabetic and then alphanumeric so these are some classes that we have uh, related to picture class and then you have some four characteristics like uh, class uh, sign and then decimal point or else we used to call it as a point location and last one which is about size so these are the four important characteristics that we have related to picture class so under class you have three three things as numeric alphabetic and alphanumeric and then sign you have just two sign a positive or negative sign and then decimal point location we used to use two symbols capital p or else capital v we used to call it as an assumed decimal position and then to the last uh, size so depends upon the number of code character you would uh, normally you would be able to calculate the size of the data item okay uh, so uh, we used to use some code character uh, to the maximum uh, we used to use uh, six character uh, totally we have some six code characters uh, the six code characters are uh, nine 
and x and capital a so 9 which represents a digit value and capital x which represents an alphanumeric value and capital a which represents an alphabet value and then you we have three more uh, characters capital p and capital v to denote a decimal point suppose if you are going to use capital p which denotes the decimal point which lies outside the value so uh, either uh, either that particular dot which may present at the left end or right end of your numerical value so we used to use the capital p and then capital v which has been used to indicate the decimal point of your value uh, between two digits or you will have some total of five digits after three digits you will have a dot and then after dot you will have two more digits so like that uh, we used to represent the internal uh, decimal uh, places using the capital v and then you will have capital s capital s to indicate the sign either positive value or negative value but normally we used to use it only to indicate a negative value and not for uh, positive value uh, so this uh, capital p and then capital v and capital s these three code characters are not included to count the size of uh, a data item okay and then uh, the 9 and x and capital a these three code characters which is been used to count the size of uh, the data item so this is very very important we have a total of six code character among those six code character only three which has been used to uh, measure the size of uh, the data item those three code character are nine and capital x and capital a where uh, the capital p capital v and capital s which is not been used to measure the size of the data item so these things are very very important and then uh, <clears throat> i would like to um, uh, share some example uh, related to uh, the picture class uh, so normally you will have like this pic and then a space and then ease and then name uh, and then you will have the code character and then you will have this uh, opening bracket so in the chat box i have posted uh, PAC is name uh, x of 15 so picture to denote we are using the picture class we are using that particular word PIC and then is uh, normally we use uh, we used to represent uh, we used to use this is word and the name which is going to be a data item name or data item and then x which is going to be in code character that you are going to use and then a total of uh, 15 positions that we are mentioning over here uh, so suppose you are going to type the name which consists of some dot or which consists of some blank spaces so uh, this dot and blank spaces which comes under what special characters uh, so this capital x which used to store a numeric value alphabetic value and any special characters okay so suppose you have to use all those characters a set of characters uh, within a particular data item you could use this x so this is going to be one of the example uh, where pic is name uh, x of 15 okay and then the next example, I'm typing it in chat box. Just kindly check it out. Uh, PAC is uh, sum, and then you will have four nines. Uh, so uh, here PAC is and sum, which is going to be a data item name. I'm going to use some four nines over here. So for the first nine, I could use some values, and for the second nine, I could use some values. So each and every nine, which represents a number. So suppose if you are going to uh, give some value like 1234 for first 9, 1 and for the second 9, 2 and for the uh, third 9, 3 and for the fourth 9, 4. And then suppose we have to mention the value uh, 9998. Okay. So total of four digit positions. So we are mentioning these four nines. So each and every nine which used to store a single numeric value okay so that's about these nines so nine which is being used to represent a storing of numeric value so actually these are positions actually nine which represents we are going to use a numeric value and this four nine which represents positions so how many number of digit value that you that you could use to represent this we are using this example and then next one a pic is tot then hyphen hyphen mark 
mark and then I'm going to use some uh, see here um, I suppose here we are going to view the uh, 10 student total mark to the maximum we need some three positions to represent the value 600 we need three positions so first nine which holds the value six and the second name which holds the value zero and third name which holds the value uh, one more zero so totally of uh, three digits for each and every digit we are using uh, to rep uh, the nine as an representation to represent the numeric value and suppose uh, the total mark of a particular candidate is 495 the first four will stored in the first nine and the second uh, value second digit is nine which stored in uh, the second nine and third one five which stored in the third nine so 495 so a total of three positions for each and every position which have been mentioned using those three nines okay and then the next example which is about uh, using decimal places so PIC is average PIC is average mark uh, space double nine V single nine so this is going to be an example for uh, picture class using decimal places so here i have used what double nine v and then one more nine this a uh, single v which represents a decimal point okay so normally this single v which doesn't hold any um, memory positions in your computer memory uh, so this three nines alone which is going to store some uh, positions in your computer memory and this particular v which represents a decimal point so normally the average mark will be for example uh, the mark of a 10 student which is going to be uh, 75.2 so the first seven for first nine and then uh, five which represents the second nine and then you will have a dot and then two uh, which represents the third nine so to represent this particular value in your program 75.2 we are using this particular uh, structure uh, picture class structure so you will have double nine p and nine where first a uh, two nine which stands for some two digit position and then v which represents a decimal places decimal point and the third nine which represents uh, one more uh, numeric value okay um, and then um, the next one uh, which is going to be an example for uh, using uh, a code character code character a so here i am using this particular uh, example uh, the example here is um, <coughs> uh, picture is uh, place a of 15, a of 15 so i'm going to use some uh, place name over here to the maximum i could use some 15 characters for example uh, i'm going to use the place name the place name which is going to be salem for example s a l e m so a total of five characters uh, we could store so here we have declared some 15 positions so within this 15 positions we could store those five characters and to the maximum you could use what um, 15 characters so suppose you're going to store uh, this particular word for example coimbatore um, which may consist of some um, 10 characters uh, c o i m b a t o r e uh, so within this 15 positions we could store the word coimbatore so I am using the capital E which is for alphabets alone. So here you have to use only alphabetic value alone, not any numerical value or any other special characters. But here you could use a spaces in between two words. Uh, so you could use spaces and alphabets alone, not any other characters other than these things. Okay. So these are some of the examples that I would like to discuss with you people um, uh, related to uh, how to use the picture class and uh, how to use those code characters so almost we have used uh, all those uh, code characters um, and then uh, in the last presentation we have some examples uh, for using capital s and then capital p so capital s which denotes uh, the sign character and especially to denote a negative value we used to use capital s and then capital p which is used to denote the decimal point and then this decimal point will lies outside of a value either it used to present at the left end or else it used to present at the right end okay um, so these are the things i would like to 
uh, revise about the previous uh, presentations on picture class um, uh, students suppose if you have uh, any doubts uh, regarding picture class you could ask me now uh, suppose if you have uh, doubts um, you could ask your questions in chat box if you doesn't have any questions to ask uh, type one if you don't have any doubts type one in your chat box if you have any doubts uh, you could ask me the questions in chat box. So students kindly uh, respond to me. If you have doubts, you could type it. If you don't have any doubts, uh, just type one. Okay. Uh, so uh, with this, uh, we could stop this and then we could move to the next presentation. Your next uh, presentation uh, the today's topic is uh, um, environment division and data division. Um, Hari, would you please uh, start presenting that particular slide? Sir, visible or Yes, it's visible. Put it in full screen. Okay, it's okay, but. Uh, um, are you presenting using a phone? Put it in landscape mode. Uh, just uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, it's okay now. Okay. No problem, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, now it's okay. Now it's okay. Now it is okay, ma okay so today we are going to discuss about this particular topic ma uh, environment division and uh, uh, to the last we are going to discuss about data division uh, next slide so this is going to be your uh, first slide which is about introduction um, so here uh, i will uh, discuss uh, some basic things about environment division and then uh, data division so uh, you people know very well students you have some four divisions actually so the four divisions are identification and second one is environment and third one which is about data and fourth one which is about procedure division among these divisions normally in a program we used to use three divisions alone mostly we used to use three divisions the three divisions are identification and then data division and then procedure division Sometimes for optional purposes or for documentation purposes, we used to use this second division. The second division is environment division. So with this division, we could uh, get a knowledge or we could uh, get an idea as what are the various computers or peripherals that we're going to use uh, to, to do your program or to code your program. What are the additional devices that you're going to use? Uh, so to denote those things we are using this environment so environment in the sense so where we are going to work or where we are going to code where we are going to program so what is the environment that we are going to use to uh, code your program uh, so all those informations will be described over here in this environment division almost all these uh, paragraphs whatever that you have in this division which is going to be an optional one and which has been used only for documentation purposes um, though we are not going to concentrate much on this uh, environment division, we must know what are the various paragraphs and sections uh, that we have in this environment division. So basically this is going to be the structure actually. So you will have divisions first and next two divisions you will have some section names and the next two sections you will have some paragraph names. So this is going to be the order of um writing uh, those divisions sections and paragraph so first you have to mention what is the division that you're going to use so division is going to be the first one and second one which is about sections so whatever the sections that you're going to use in your uh, program those sections must be uh, mentioned next to the division and finally each and every section which consists of some paragraph names those paragraph names could be mentioned next to the sections okay so this is going to be uh, this is going to be the order of how we have to use uh, these divisions sections and paragraph and um, um, so here in this environment division uh, 
uh, we used to have some two sections the two sections are configuration section and then input output section so these are the two important uh, sections that we have related to environment division so under configuration sections you have uh, uh, the paragraphs like source computer and object computer and then you have one more paragraph like special names paragraph uh, and then uh, under input output section you have two paragraphs the first one is about file control paragraph and next one which is about uh, uh, input output control uh, paragraph so th these are the uh, divisions the sections and paragraphs that we have related to environment division um, so uh, this environment division um, this is going to be a second division of your uh, cobol program and which is uh, mostly machine dependent one so machine dependent one in the sense uh, what is the machine that you're going to use and uh, what is the machine where you're going to uh, code your program and compile your program and execute your program moreover this coding compiling and execution of program uh, we used to perform in the same computer so that particular computer which is going to act like an environment for us okay uh, here uh, which is been uh, uh, divisioned as source computer and object computer source computer in the sense the computer which has been used to type the source code uh, that particular computer we used to call it as a source computer and then object computer in the sense uh, and which computer that you're going to create an object code sometimes you may uh, type a program in one computer and create object code uh, in some other computer or uh, using an object code you could execute that particular program on any cobol machines and uh, so uh, that's why to differentiate or to know those things only we are discussing on uh, this particular things and um, so and then uh, so whatever the peripheral devices that we are going to use the peripheral devices may be it may be an uh, pen drive or it may be an card reader or it may be an uh, printer or any devices uh, or it may be an forbit disk drive so any devices that you are going to use peripheral devices that you are going to use to store the file or to process the file or to print uh, some reports those peripheral devices uh, being listed under this uh, environment division uh, so here we have two sections as we discussed we have first one which is about configuration section and second one which is about input output section so these are the uh, two important sections that we have mm, and then uh, so under configuration section we have two paragraphs as source computer uh, and then you will have a an dot and then its entry so its entry in the sense what is the source computer name and then next one object computer a dot uh, what is the object computer name okay and then special name paragraph is going to be an optional one uh, which used to uh, give some information about what is the hardware devices that you're going to use over there and then input output section uh, the first one paragraph that we have is file control paragraph which used to list out what are the various files that you're going to use and uh, to store those files what are the hardware devices that you're going to use those uh, hardware devices name we used to call it as a mnemonic names actually uh, we used to use some names for the hardware devices those names we used to call it as a mnemonic name mnemonic in the sense m n e m o n i c okay mnemonic names we used to call them mnemonic names and then input output control uh, paragraph which is uh, to mention the data names that you're going to use for your uh, uh, files so what are the files that you're going to use uh, so to those files we need some data items to store some values and process some values so to denote those uh, values we are going to use this uh, uh, input output control paragraph so it's very simple so this is going to be this first slide which is going to be an important one and which, which gives an overall picture about environment division so we have environment division under this division we have two sections the first section is configuration and second section is uh, input output section so under configuration section we have paragraphs paragraphs are source computer and its name object computer and its name and special names uh, any additional uh, peripheral devices that you're going to use that will be mentioned under uh, special names and under input output section which is related uh, specific, specifically which is related to files okay so what is the uh, input file or what is the output file that you're going to use to your program 
So normally you have uh, some files, sometimes the same file which acts like an input file, an output file. Because using the same file, we used to read the content and write the content. But sometimes we used to use two separate files. For input purposes, we used to use the uh, file name 1. And for output purposes, we used to use some other files that is going to be file name 2. Uh, so we have uh, two files, uh, one which uh, the first one which is going to act like an input and second one which is going to act like an output file for us. So those things will be mentioned under this input output section. And the next one, uh, the paragraphs, whatever that we have, those things will be listed over this uh, input output section. Uh, and then the next slide, Ma. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is going to be the second slide that we have over here. Uh, this one, which is about configuration section. So this section, uh, which is going to give some overall specifications of the uh, computer environment whatever that you're going to use uh, for coding or compiling and for execution of your uh, program and then here we have some uh, three paragraphs uh, source computer object computer and special names uh, here we are going to discuss and the, uh, um, the first two paragraphs alone because the special name which is going to be an optional one and then we used to use it very rarely and then uh, here these two paragraphs source computer and object computer for this, we have some general syntax as how we have to use this. So, uh, the source computer paragraphs which specifies uh, the name of the computer that you're going to use um, to compile uh, the program, okay, or to edit the program. So, this is going to be the paragraph name, and then this is going to be the general format source hyphen computer, and then you have to use dot, and then you have to leave a space and then computer name and then dot so this is going to be the general format as how you have to uh, define the source computer that you're going to use uh, while coding your program uh, so we have some example suppose if the computer name is going to be igl or icl1901 uh, for compiling of your source program and then this will be uh, denoted as source hyphen computer dot a space ICL-1901 and then one more dot. So this is how you have to define your source computer. So what is the computer that you're going to use to edit your program and to compile your program. Next one, uh, next paragraph, which is about object computer. So object computer paragraphs, which describes the computer uh, on which the program is executed. So where you're going to execute your program. So those uh, execution environment will be listed here in this object uh, computer paragraph and this is going to be the syntax for uh, to denote the object computer object hyphen computer and then you will have a dot and then you will have the computer name for example suppose if, if it is going to be an uh, same computer you're going to mention it as icl hyphen 1901 this is going to be the computer name so where you're going to create uh, the object code or uh, um, how you're going to execute this object code uh, so soon after comp compilation, you will get the object code. Suppose if you try to uh, open that particular object code and suppose you try to open that object code and view that object code, uh, there will be some symbols alone, either in zeros or ones or some more additional uh, special characters or symbols will be there in the object code. There, there won't be any codes that whatever that you have typed. So the object code is very, very important. Suppose if you get some object code, of any program or software so using that particular object code we would be able to execute that particular program so we don't need the coding at all just with the object code we would be able to execute uh, that particular program okay so the object code which is going to act like an uh, the exe file uh, which will be helpful to us to execute the program okay so where we are going to execute or where we are going to run so using that particular object code we would be able to run so that particular computer we used to call it as an object computer okay and then you have uh, some more uh, additional uh, paragraphs uh, under this uh, configuration section so the additional paragraphs are the memory size in terms of words and then program colliding sequence uh, is alphabet name and then segment limit is integer two. so these are some additional paragraphs that we have so memory to denote uh, how many number of uh, memory spaces that you're going to occupy uh, 
for this purposes that's about memory size um, so integer uh, which, which used to hold some values and how many number of words that you're going to use so that will be described over memory size and then program collating sequence in the sense suppose you're going to use um, a number of numeric values uh, how you're going to arrange it either in uh, ascending order or descending order suppose you're going to use them um, alphabetic value how you're going to arrange it suppose uh, either it's going to be in collating sequence or uh, either it's going to be in some order so that will be described using this program collating sequence and then segment limit uh, which is related to memory actually so segment limit in the sense how many number of segments to the maximum that you could that you, that you could use uh, for example to this particular program uh, suppose if you need some five segments you have to use those five segments alone so each and every segment uh, which denotes uh, memory boxes whatever that we are going to, that we used to use to store the values are to the values are the entire uh, uh, file that you have coded okay so that's about segment limit so these are the things about uh, configuration section um, uh, harinath next slide ma uh, move to next slide uh, so okay okay uh, okay this is going to be uh, the next one uh, so the computer name specifies a particular computer on which the object program is to be executed which is related to object computer and then the memory size uh, which is to indicate the storage space that is required to store your uh, uh, object program so especially especially we are using it for object program alone so what is the overall size of your object program that will be described over here using memory size some integer value and then words or else characters so here at the bottom of the presentation in the bottom of the slide you have memory size 8000 words so this is going to be uh, actually that you have to use it so memory size 8000 words in the sense to the maximum this object code which consists of 8000 words maybe each and every words may consist of some a number of characters but basically the, here which has been represented as 8000 words and then program collating sequence which used to specify uh, the collating sequence of a numeric value or non-numeric data items whatever that you're going to use suppose if you are not going to use this paragraph and then whatever uh, the normal uh, the way of a process that it used to happen or it used to use to store the results so those things will be used as an uh, we used to call it as a native one or which is going to be an assumed one the, those sequence we used to call it as a native sequence actually and the next one which is about segment segment which is basically which is related to computer memory and then to accessing uh, instead of accessing some virtual memory area and to represent uh, what is the exact memory spaces that you are using to uh, transfer the input and output values uh, while processing your program those segment limit will be mentioned over here using this segment limit class so these are some clauses that we have uh, under uh, object computer uh, uh, paragraph and then here you have some examples at the bottom as object computer uh, memory size 8000 words um, so this is going to be some of the examples that we have related to object uh, computer paragraph the next slide And then the next one which is about uh, uh, input output section uh, so input output section as we discussed uh, so what is the input file that we're going to use and what is the output file that we're going to use uh, while using uh, files in your program so normally files will be stored with the format uh, we used to call those format as in text format txt format rls we used to use the format dat so while saving the file we used to use these two extensions the two extensions are dot dat dat stands for data okay in the word data we are going to use the first three characters alone or else you could use dot txt which is a notepad format and then both these format uh, which will be opened using your notepad application okay so the files here normally we used to process using your notepad application here and then uh, this particular section uh, which used to give some information uh, related to files that whatever that you're going to use in your program and then we have two paragraphs over here the first one which is about file control paragraph 
and second one which is about input output control paragraph the file control paragraph which is uh, which will describe about uh, what are the various files that you're going to use and what are the various devices uh, that is being used to store and process those files those details will be described over file control paragraph and then input output uh, control paragraph which used to uh, describe about what are the various data names or data items that we are going to use related to the files processing so those data names will be listed under uh, under input output control paragraph um, so these are the things that we have related to uh, input output section but basically this particular section is an optional one in most of the computers so which is not a mandatory one either you could mention or uh, uh, you could avoid it so uh, normally um, this is going to be an optional one but suppose you're going to use the files surely you have to mention these things in your program and then the next slide ma this one which is about uh, file control paragraph so here uh, the file control paragraph names were each file uh, which used to identify the medium that you're going to use to denote the file control entries um, and this is going to be a simplified format to denote the file control entries uh, select a file name assigned to hardware name so select which is a class uh, and then file name whatever the file name that you're going to use uh, the file name will be mentioned over here and then assigned to hardware name uh, so assign which is a keyword uh, and then two hardware name which is the hardware devices that we are going to use over here um, so this is going to be uh, to denote what is the file name that we are going to use using select class and what is the hardware from where we are going to access that particular file so that will be mentioned over here so select file name assign to hardware name so from where assign in the sense so which hardware at that particular file which is being assigned so those things will be uh, mentioned over this select class um, so normally in COBOL program we used to use some files so whenever that you're going to use these files you have to mention those file details and the, under this file control entry paragraph and then um, this assigns keyword which denotes whatever the peripheral devices that you're going to use to hold that particular file so those things will be uh, mentioned using this assigns uh, keyword um, and then whenever that you're going to mention this file name that must be an unique uh, unique one okay you must not use the same file name for more than one purposes so that will result in some confusion so whenever that, you, that you're going to use file name that must be unique one and that file must present in that particular hardware either it's going to be an card reader or either it's going to be an uh, uh, some other hardware devices uh, so uh, you have to check whether that particular file is present in that hardware or not peripheral devices or not Mm. and then <clears throat> uh, so normally we have one more entry under data division uh, so the whatever the file name that you have used over here in file control paragraph the same file name must be described under uh, some file control entries that we have under data division and uh, so both the data division and then in this uh, file control paragraph in this input output section uh, must have the same file name whatever that you're going to use okay and then uh, your uh, next slide ma so this is going to be the example as how we have to use uh, the file control paragraph so uh, normally we used to use some various devices like uh, uh, it may be in reader card reader or it may be in printer or it may be in uh, tape or it may be in disk so these devices which used to act like an uh, for both an input device and also an output device so from a tape or disk you would be able to access a file and also we would be able to store the file where printer which is used only to uh, give some reports or to give some hard copies we used to use the printer and reader in the sense which used to use only for input purposes alone so among these devices some of the devices which has been used only for input purposes and some of the devices which is used for output purposes alone and some of the devices which is been used for both for input and also output so reader is for uh, input and printer is for output where tape and disk which is for uh, both for input and also output and some you have some examples over here 
uh, under file control paragraph select card design as into reader card design which is a file name and as into reader which is a card reader and second example select printer file which is a file name as into printer which is a printer which is a hardware name so these are some of examples as how we have to describe uh, the file control entries under this file control paragraph and then the next slide ma next slide uh, so uh, already we have discussed something related to data division this is going to be like just a revision for your data division uh, so under data division you have two more sections the first section which is going to be uh, the file section and second one which is going to be working story section so under file section so whatever the files that you're going to use and whatever the file names or hardware names and whatever the uh, data names that you're going to use related to uh, file sections all those things will be described using this file section option the next one working storage section uh, which has been used uh, only for specifically for internal purposes alone for uh, processing some input and uh, uh, to give some output you, to your program so for all those normal uh, elementary data item or group data item processing we used to use this working storage section so normally we have two types of sections uh, under data division so data division which is specially to denote or to describe or to define or declare whatever the data name that we are going to use our, in our program all those data names will be described under under this data division and then here we have two sections suppose we are going to use the files those file details must be mentioned under the file section suppose you are going to use a normal uh, data names alone or data items alone you could mention those data item under working storage section so basically for uh, uh, storing some um, values we used to define the data names uh, using some picture classes and using some code character we used to define the data names that we're going to use um, so these are the things about uh, uh, data division and then you have some more section like screen section linkage section report section so all these uh, sections which is going to be an optional one here under uh, uh, data division okay um, the next slide the next slide ma uh, so this is going to be uh, yes ma this is going to be the last slide for us so um, uh, you have uh, the working story section and then um, how which is be, this is going to be general format as how you have to use uh, the file section and working story section so under files section you have file section entries and then under working story section you will have working uh, storage uh, entries uh, so whatever the data items that you're going to use internally for uh, uh, storing your uh, results or processing your input values even it may be in constant sometimes so all those things will be described here under this working storage section and this is going to be the general format for data division as how you have to use uh, the data division in your programs and then uh, one more important point uh, all these division names uh, section names as well as division names must be coded under margin a and whatever uh, the paragraphs that you uh, that we used to use uh, all those things must be coded under margin b uh, so this is going to be one more additional thing uh, that we used to have over here in this uh, data division so uh, with this i would like to uh, stop the presentation um, so uh, thank you students thank you for listening uh, patiently um, so already it's time up um, um, uh, so i would like to ask some uh, two questions to you people okay uh, so just answer uh, uh, these questions using your chat box um, okay uh, so what are the divisions that we have discussed today we have discussed about two divisions what are those divisions we have discussed today uh, put your answers in chat box please we have discussed about two divisions what are those divisions uh, so environment division good and data division okay uh, so surya and then uh, muthukumaran uh, have answered it uh, correctly and then suresh rithik um, okay uh, okay good and then the next question which is going to be um 
how many sections that we have under environment divisions just type the numbers alone how many sections that we have under environment division okay good the answer is two um okay so most of you have answered it correctly uh, so with this uh, i would like to uh, stop my presentation so students uh, thank you very much and thank you uh, for uh, listening very patiently uh, so thank you students thank you